So here's a quick video to show how the uh, controls work on this uh, one that I've made. You press the axis buttons to select the axis. These buttons then move the axis either positive or negative. X and Y move quite a lot, so that's 50mm in the X there. Uh, no it isn't, I didn't have X selected, so that's 50mm in the X there. That's 50mm in the Y. That Z will only go 10mm with each press and it gets correspondingly finer as you go across. <coughs> There's a table in the code showing the distances. As I moved all of the axes now, every single axis is locked. This is an unlock button, as I've got Z or Z if you're in the US selected, that will unlock the axis. So that now the Z is unlocked. There's an A in the middle of the icon, if you press and hold it, it unlocks every axis, that's every axis now unlocked. If I wanted to lock all of the axes, I've got this button down here, that has locked every single axis now. They don't move. And it's got another function as well. You can see the display down there shows that I've got uh, the X and the Y both at 50. If I press and hold this button, then it locked the axis and it zeroed those. The axis buttons have got another function as well. Uh, if I move the X by 50 again, if and I move the Y by 10, if I press and hold Y, you'll see that just Y is zeroed. So these buttons select axes and zero. That's the unlock one, unlock all movement. And that's the lock button there. This button here is takes you to a preset location. Uh, so if I uh, uh, unlock uh, all of the axes and I take my CNC back to its hard end stops, so I don't have end stop switches. I've got these uh, 3D printed hard end stops. So let's pull this axis back as well. And I zero everything. I mean, usually everything would be zeroed because I've just turned the machine on or my NG code zeroes everything as well. But I'll go ahead and lock and zero axis everything. If I now drive uh, to a set position, so let's go. Uh, it's really hard to video and drive this thing at the same time. So if I go to X, 50, 50, Y50. You can see I've got that on the display there, 150. And if I press and hold that button, that's now preset. So if I unlock all the axes and I go back to my end stops again. So I've just walked up to the printer at the CNC machine and uh, make sure I zero everything. It usually would be at the end of a job, but it's just because I'm playing around. And I press that button. Off it goes to that preset location, 150. And if I move it again um, uh, from that location and set it, it'll have that new location stored. Um, it obviously relies on it being zero to start with and uh, it keeping track of where you're going as you go along. I've also got pause and play resume. Uh, because of the way the SD card buffer works, pause isn't a lot of use. It can do another four SD commands before it actually pauses, and they can be, you know, the whole length of the printer around a circle. This is useful though. Uh, if rather than using M0 for a tool chain, use M25, and there are a few wrinkles to it, as described in the make for this thing. Uh, you can then resume from the tool change just by pressing this button here. The advantage there is you can actually drive the axes around from the wand slash pendant before resuming and uh, the CNC machine knows exactly where it is. Uh, anyway, that's a really quick run through of those functions. You can read the code for more information, uh, but I thought a, a demonstration video was better than uh, just trying to write it all up. Okay, thank you.